Hi, this is Carl Bogar for Historic Military Impressions, your premier provider of museum quality exhibits, history classes, and authentic military surplus for this week's item of the week. Today I have joining me my son Elijah Bogar. And Elijah, I understand you have some questions. You always ask me questions about things. So this is your chance. What is this? What is this? Not like specifically. Okay, this, what Elijah has grabbed is a K-98 parade dagger that his great-grandfather, Edward Klatt, brought back as a war souvenir from World War II. Edward Klatt was a cook in the United States Army. And a lot of people think that's not a glamorous job, but it's a very important job, especially when you have multiple infantry divisions that need to be fed in Europe and in the Pacific. So cooks are actually very important. But Edward, as a staff sergeant in the United States Army, was present when Goring came in with his luggage and surrendered to um, allied authorities, thinking that he was going to be accepted as a, a hero and given the, not necessarily a hero, but given the status of being a field marshal. And basically he was thrown in handcuffs and stripped of his stuff. And he was there when many things of his were um, gone through. In other words, we have a, a coin in our collection that was supposedly Goring's in his watch bob. We have some photos from his Goring's personal photo album. And this dagger. Now, what makes it very unique is that the person who had it inscribed their name here on the back, and we'll have better pictures of that for you. And if you can see Elijah, on the blade, he has the dates and all the places he was in, um, all the way starting with the back and the last date. Can you see what the last date there is? Where is it? No? No, I can't see it. Can't see it? But it's early. It's like pre-war. So either he died early in the war or for whatever reasons, this blade and him were separated um, at when the war actually happened. I think the last date is a 37 or a 38 date. Um, but it's very unique, obviously, because parade daggers like this are common. However, this is the first one I've ever seen where everything was subscribed on it. Um, where the gentleman was, including the name of the NCO that it would have been issued to. We have it with the original frog, brown leather, original scabbard. And any other questions about it, son? So I know it's supposed to look nice because it's a parade dagger, but uh, why is it so shiny? Is that chrome or is it just... It, ha it has been chromed. Obviously, this one would have been um, on a more of a dress uniform with the ceremonial uh, porta pee or per, a knot on it. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, this one would have been more honor guard. It wasn't for combat use. Obviously, we have some other K98 daggers there that are for combat loose that this metal isn't so shiny. Obviously, you, obviously, you wouldn't want shiny material in the field. And the handle is a, a black bait-like material, whereas the other ones are more um, brown or wood for okay. better for field use. All right. And then and the rest of the knife is supposed to be so nice. And why does the scabbard feel like it's not the same quality? Because it was, it was the same quality. It was painted. And obviously, you have some wear from rust, um, some wear from just age, from being in, in your grandfather's cedar chest. Um, until they gave it to us to have in our collection so that we can, um, so people can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But like I said, one day it'll go from your, went from your great grandfather to your grandfather. One day it'll go to your mom and then, um, because your mom's an only child. But then after that, you and your sister Rachel can battle for it when we're no longer in the picture. <laughs> okay? All right. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed. We're going to try to do more formats like this where it's more of a conversation and then just me talking. But for this week, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. 
And until next week, this is Carl and Elijah Bogar for Historic Military Impressions. Once again, your premier provider of museum quality exhibits, history classes, and authentic surplus. And if you're going to the Showa Shows in Kentucky, hopefully we'll see you there. Have a great week.